African Rata, ta, 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 ta. Tosa, tosa, tosa. I see they find that person. We go tell me, say, make I don't laugh anytime when these girls do this. Ta, 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 because, guys, it is freaking hilarious. Bitten. <laughs> Your bullets might have broken Big Brother's camera. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Bertha. I'm excited to have you here. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, seeing my pretty face, you are most definitely welcome. Please make sure to hit on the subscribe button before you leave. And also give this video a thumbs up right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it, okay? And of course, to the LOML of my life, the loves of my life, my Bethans, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for holding it down for me. Thank you for just checking up on me and trying to make sure that, you know, whatever it is that I went to do yesterday, making sure that it went well. I truly, truly appreciate it trust me i made you guys proud okay you guys know now i made you proud and don't worry patience they say the patient dog is the fattest bone but don't worry you don't go too patient so they will crunch up all the bone okay guys i'm so happy to be back yesterday was such a long day i just couldn't even you know muster any single strength to come on here to make a video so let us talk about some of the things that happened in the house yesterday okay and if for any reason some of them have been resolved you know concern me i must talk about them okay so you people tell me oh better this one you mentioned it, it happened though but they don't settle that's what i want to hear but i'm not talking about the resolving of the issues i want to talk about the issues because sometimes i'm like how do these people think you know like so the diary sessions that happened yesterday i'm listening to chiwe speak in the diary room with zion because you guys i'm always everywhere with my dstv app the streaming app so yes yes even in traffic i have that okay so as much as i'm not following like 100 percent because i need to know where the uber guy is carrying me whether the guy will go left or guy will go right but you know i was still trying to pay attention and for some reason chiwe was just lying at this point, eh, I'm even tired of talking about her lies because, I mean, uh, if you ask me that again, a Linus, Linus, because what's it happen? You said something, you cannot own up to it. Big Brother had to call you out and say, oh, Chiwe, that was not all you said. Because she was like, mm, mm. when I heard that eh, it was Nelly, I didn't really say anything about the jewelry. I just collected it and I went to sleep. I went to, you know, talk. Big Brother said, mm, Chiwe, is that all you said? She said, mm. Maybe I could have said something about Anini. Big is it precisely you said that. Are you gonna lie? You gonna believe your own lie? I don't really know. And Zion, for some reason, was just there supporting her. See, let me tell you, the moment she and Zion enter that diary room where they sit down, where Zion carry hand put for a neck, I say it's over. Today it doesn't want wala. Anything when she will talk, now you could just support because honestly, Baba they find Nash. Best way to collect two rounds, you will tell me say no one chop and more. Yesterday it was on Chiwe's side, and everything he was just saying yesterday, I'm like, mm, Orodo, you probably should just go outside, go outside. Of course, the Honey X and the pair also had their diary session, and it's so funny how you know this the ta 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 the verse of people. Me, they give me joy. You know me, I love wellness. <laughs> oh my god, they all came with like a different round. This one was no more. Poo, poo, poo. This one was ta 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 So the big brother tell them, say, your bullets may have just broken one of big brother's camera. That was hilarious. That was hilarious, guys. You need to understand that not everybody has um, the ability to be demure. You know, no, sometimes you don't need demure. Sometimes scatter the place. <laughs> I'm sorry. Better stop laughing now. Stop laughing. Some people are not happy about this thing. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry, but like that diary session was hilarious. I mean, they had no regrets whatsoever, and that's the thing. Like when you are in that house, play the game to your best ability, guys. Listening to them yesterday was all shades of hilarious, and I know people are still saying things like, "Don't worry, you people are coming out on Sunday. You people will be evicted on Sunday." Do -do 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 -do. Guys, let me tell you, people like this, eh? They know that it might just be their turn tomorrow. Okay, so let them enjoy it in the moment. You see this one that they are doing? Allow them to enjoy it. It's not that they will not enjoy it. Then you will send them home on Sunday. Then you will not tell them, eh, hey, we brought you out. 
at least they gave you people a show. And guys, this is a reality show. Allow them. Just because we are used to everybody trying to be, you know, on their pee, nobody trying to step on other people's toes, does not mean it will remain like that forever. They are people with Chris. You think you are crazy? Go and meet one year's Hadi. But yeah, away from that. Away from that, guys. I mean, also, TJ Hadi is diary session. TJ and Ben, Ben, that's the beta team. And for some weird reason, TJ just felt like it was still okay to be dragging the matter of Sunday trying to defend himself even though big brother kept on calling him back and saying no like take responsibility even so the big brother can't they drop quotes for him this guy still did it there i'm like guy just shift and i think it was because of all of that back and forth that big brother knew that that was not the time for him to announce his new bundles of joy you guys i told you that tj's wife gave birth she gave birth to a set of twins twin boys yeah he didn't feel like that was the right time because i mean the whole back and forth it was just somehow so of course i knew that big brother would still do it i just didn't know how and oh my goodness big brother you see all those love 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 where uh, oh, yeah, they always tell say she love you mm -mm, she not love you reach me because oh my goodness it was such a sweet moment you know when big brother told him and even in the way biggie did it <sighs> biggie my love mm. Big brother, like you guys, they finish their task, you know, their power oil task. I mean, they were doing the task, whatever. And you know, in that moment, Big Brother had told him by the way, boys, to go and hug TJ. I'm like, ah, <laughs> this is so cute. This is, oh my god, oh my god. And of course, oh my god, I'm tearing up for real, for real, guys. Like, I'm such a crybaby. But yeah, it was really cute. Um, you know, the body with boys went and hugged him, and then Biggie said, One knee, ex hand, D, do the same. And you know, they also hugged him. And then Big Brother went on to say that since it's the season of dynamic duos, that TJ's family has been blessed with their own set of dynamic duos, guys. That was so emotional. I know I'm not even going to lie. I, oh my god, better, what is wrong with you? But yeah, that was so sweet. That was so sweet. In a season of pairs, TJ's home has been blessed with his very own dynamic duo. You know, TJ could not contain his joy. And then of course, TJ told Big Brother that, Biggie, please, I have a request to make. I have a request to make. And then Biggie went on to, you know, let him do that. He told Big Brother that he has not had alcohol in six years, but this time around... He needs to break that rule. And so Big Brother should please, you know, give them alcohol because he just wants to celebrate. He just wants to be happy. And of course, Big Brother's like, hmm, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. But it's okay because we are in the season of celebrating twos. <laughs> I'm going to grant you your wish. And then Big Brother allowed them to have alcohol and they were celebrating. They were happy. Guys, it was such a wonderful moment in Biggie's house. And I don't know how Biggie does it. Like, he just knows what to say, how to say it, when to say it. Biggie, you're so cute. I don't know what you look like, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you for making that moment such an awesome one. You know, it's something that, you know, TJ and the rest of the housemates will not forget in a bit. I will not forget it in a bit. And I've seen comments of people say, eh, so he has a pregnant wife at home and he came to play the game. Now your money, you go use to take care of the children. If he asks you for money, will you give him? Allow him hustle for his daily 2K, urgent 2K. Allow this guy. Allow him. I, I don't want to be hearing all this type of comment. <laughs> some of you now, and I'm not even saying it in a very spiteful way, but there are some couples that, you know, their husbands did not go for Big Brother. But even when they're the born, their husband are not dead yet. How far? How far? Because, bless you, once on a job, they die on a keypad. Without borrow, the data on a borrow. On a go, uh, let's type before they go come out. Now, can going to type rubbish. Sometimes before you talk, eh, just think. Think before you, in fact, you want to even talk that the problem. I don't even know what you people sound like. I'll be going resty. Get out. Get out. Get out. Anyway, on to the next. Sean and Wani. Wait till we all these things. Now, now, you know, you know, see the gay hand, they smell like fish. I'll be like pee. He was telling Onyeka that uh, during the power oil task, by the way, the pair that won, I mean, the team that won the power oil task, you know, Team Heart, that's Shatoria, Radicals, and Checkers, they won the power oil task, yeah? So, um, 
he was telling um, Oyeka that, you know, during the task and all of that, he was basically ranting to her about what had happened. You know, him telling Wani that her hand was smelling like pee, I'd be smelling like fish. And like for him, he didn't know if it was his nose or whatnot and all of that. And I've seen comments also on the internet, people saying, oh, finally what Ruthie said about this girl smelling is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. So all this why I not smell. Now today, it they smell. If you cook fish, you say you they cut fish, you they touch fish, you they kitchen. Help me understand how your hand will not smell. And people say, oh, why didn't you wash your hand? So if you... Sometimes, say, I give you some type of argument, say, it doesn't really make sense. But you guys need to understand that before that task, like shortly before that task, Wani was in the kitchen. She was cooking. And she had a lot to do with fish. So you saying it's smelling like pee, I'll be smelling like fish. And then Oyeka now saying, no, no, it was fish. You know, her hand was smelling like fish. You know, it just goes to say that because of what she was doing before the task, the smell was still there because they didn't have enough time. They had to leave. But I know some crazy people will still tell me, oh, you're just trying to defend them. And I'm asking myself, like, where are these people from? Do you people even cook in your houses? Because if you do, you will know that there are certain things you will touch in the kitchen that no matter how much you wash your hands, it just would not leave immediately. It just wouldn't. It, like it wouldn't if you like wash your hand with the best detergent on earth it will still be there it takes a while and that's why sometimes they advise you to wear gloves when you're doing things like that that's that i'm done with that okay I, i'm done with that moving on nelly and suj what's going on me will be so happy say finally on our kiss so say suj even give him baby nelly give him in great grandmother neck piece say has some ancestral and uh, covering he has this one he has a lot of uh, value you know but i'm happy that it is on the neck of somebody special and you people want to scatter come and scatter let me see i will scatter you this let me say i wait for that kiss from the breakfast in bed to the Saturday party, and not see. I still wait till later, later they come kiss inside bathroom. I mean, inside toilet. Now, now I scatter like this. I will scatter you. Go, on, go ask for better. Eat that boski. I go scatter. Go. Why is it be all this rubbish? So apparently there was a conversation they were having, and Chiwi had pointed out that, eh, you know, there's a guy that in the first week he had told her that you know she was his spec and all of that, and then after a while, because of course you know she's with her boyfriend Zion, you know he moved away from her, even though he had told her that she was his spec, he moved away from her and started making advances towards Victoria, and then of course towards Ruthie and all of that, blah blah blah. You know when they were talking, Nelly just put two and two together, and she's like, mm, this is Suj. This is Suj. And she decided it was important to have a conversation with Suj. And of course, she confronted him. Not like confronting, like, I'm going to blow your head. But like, she called him aside to ask him about it. And the guy was like, yeah, I said that, but it was a joke. You know, the Chiwe thing that I said in, like, the first week, it was a joke. And, you know, for some reason, Nelly was upset about it. You know, which is normal. But then again, Nelly, if you're being so upset about what he said in the week one and asking him, oh, are you sure it was a joke and all of that, blah, blah, blah. I get that you're upset because now you guys seem to be an item in the house, whether for a game or, you know, for reality, whatever it is, I'm enjoying it. But my point is, you know, you're upset that he said something in week one. So should we also be upset that you were flirting around the entire week one? You were all over the place. Okay, so... Can we come to a point of agreement where it's like, okay, yes, we were not, you know, exclusive, exclusive in week one. We said things, we did things. Can we let that slide? I get why Nelly's peace is because it's Chimi. You understand? You see this rivalry between these two girls? They will still tell us what they occur for day. They will still tell us. Okay, because she was so pissed at the whole situation. Oh, does Chiwe know that you were joking? Because now she's going about saying it, that you liked her, blah, blah, blah. So she was trying to really talk to her, even when they went for the task. After the task, the power oil task, he was trying to get close to her. And, you know, she was giving him space. And you know that for some reason, anything that affects Nelly affects Anita. You know, the other day when Nelly was having an altercation with Ozzy in the garden, you know, Anita had stepped in and said, no, you cannot talk to her like that you know so i know that they share that friendship and just seeing that anita was also pissed about the whole situation i wasn't surprised and as you would imagine that also affected her and tofa because tofa is in the middle oh my guy is having a problem with his babe and his babe is my babe's babe and now my babe is pissed at me as well for my guy saying things about my babe <laughs> you get the vibe right so 
there's something going on there it seems like you know there's an issue there i don't know if they've resolved it like i said if they have let me know right now in the comments because there's no way i would have moved on from it and just moved to the part where they resolved it i need to talk about the problem and just tell you guys how i feel okay so yes anyways moving back to the diary sessions that they had check us can you stop with this whole crying in the diary room because sometimes it's really really annoying i'm like girl why are you crying and it's only a cast what don't you cry it's only a cry so till yesterday she called the attack her sister for dear say no you don't always allow me and uh, when i'm telling you something you don't understand me this guy's like what are you saying to the point where big brother was like oh yeah i've given you all the advice you need sometimes when you bring opinions in the house they take it and when they don't take it keep it moving because it's not only you that be bringing ideas and then you know she's saying oh even she's about doesn't listen to her she's about this or she's about that and she's like what are you saying what are you, okay, what did I do? Tell me what I did so we can resolve it. Because they know a lot of people are talking to me. A lot of people are, people are like, you I want to tell. I mean, shut up your mouth. Every time you are up, now that's how you go going to say you go cry. <laughs> Sometimes it's cute, but I mean, yesterday was not cute at all. I'm just like, girl, rest. Rest with this, your whole uh, crying. The house does not like your opinion. They don't understand you. If they don't understand you, at least you understand yourself. That should be enough. I mean, don't stress me. Don't stress me. The people that did the diary session yesterday that gave me joy. You see, M double K. Wisdom. Wisdom when they can read. That wisdom choke. So apparently, Kasa was telling Big Brother that, you know, he overheard um, Chizoba saying that she was an instigator and all of that. And she really wanted to confront Chizoba. But then for some reason, Kelly had told her not to do it. And of course, Big Brother wanted to understand why. And Kelly went on to explain that, look, sometimes eh, God allows you to hear the plans of your enemy so that you will know how to act. Sometimes you don't need to go and confront them, start asking them, uh, 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 is this what you said? Because when you attack them, they will now devise another means that you might never be privy to so if god is showing you this it's because he wants you to see it and then you know work on yourself and you know play a better game because listening to him i'm like mm, sometimes better you need a sense of reasoning because you know think left left sometimes and kasha is really lucky she's really lucky to have kelly by her side you know just being that voice of reasoning because if not me i go don't go meet her mama you did chris you did chris trump said the instigate i come near you the ma you know but it, it's it's cool it's cool, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> anyways guys of course they would continue with their diary sessions today and maybe have a task in between i really do not know but i'm sure that they would continue with the whole diary session so of course i'll try to pay attention to you know, guys know i don't sit down to be listening to everything a to z because why would they also listen to me when i'm ranting about my own issues but anyway, it's not about me. Mm, it's not about, it's about them. I will try to listen. And if I find anything that's really, really, you know, catching, you know, then of course I'll come on here to talk about them. But yeah, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, like I would always say, we do not always have to agree. We don't. We're not the same people, okay? The way my brain is wired is not the way your brain is wired. So, yes, it's okay for us not to agree. And I would definitely, definitely love to read your thoughts in the comments. But did you see how I made my comments, how I said the things that I said, without particularly coming at you guys? Don't come at me, because if you do, I will come for you. I don't get joy. That's the be so. I don't even get joy. For another day. If you see Q for Philly Station yesterday. They choke me. So if you want to choke me with your comment, I am gonna choke you with the foil that I managed to buy. I, I will choke you with it. Okay? Uh -huh. Let's be guided. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Okay? Bye! <laughs>